Orlando-based multimedia troupe called The Residents have managed to remain our mystery for the past 20 years. At first I was like, what the hell is this? But then it just, it drew me in. I'm watching these guys, I'm listening to them, and I'm going, what's going on? Completely like tearing apart all rules and music. Can you really do that? Did they really put this out? Everyone was okay with it? Who signed these guys? For two decades now, the residents have remained utterly mysterious, never photographed without some strange costume, never interviewed, never identified in any way. So who are these people? You want the real story? You want the true story? I'll give you the true story. Ladies and gentlemen, the residents. Some people for a while did believe that the Beatles are the residents in disguise. Somebody told me that George Harrison was one of the residents, and I believed it for like three or four years. McCartney comes in sometimes, plays on some stuff. Barbara Streisand, she gets in the mix. I've been accused many times of being a member of the residents because I kind of have that twang thing going, which is an influence of the residents. If I found out that the residents were David Byrne and Bob Seger, be so stoked. It's Bono and Eddie Van Halen. That's exactly who it is. I'm spilling the beans right now. To be anonymous gives them license to do anything, anything. Because if there is no persona there and it's whatever you make up, their imagination is the only limitation. The idea of the anonymity eliminates barriers to the creation of art. It also allows them to be totally fluid in the identity that they want to present. It gives them the ability to just continually reinvent themselves. And it was born in a bathtub and grew so incredibly thin. They never bothered to have smoke machines and women in knit stocking. They work in total opposition to that. There's much more you can do to the audience in terms of making them think when it's not just a grinning entertainer that they're supposed to love. They're forced to deal with the content of what you're presenting. Devo never thought of the residents as competition. We looked up to them, we respected them. We should be able to do what we're doing as well as what they're doing. The industry just loves to produce an image that's very shaped around a demographic appeal. The residents completely resist that. Well, we certainly do live in a time where, well, people are famous for merely being famous. Why does anyone care about the Kardashians? There's no body of work. I mean, there's nothing, you know? Paris Hilton, at least it's you know, named after a lot of hotels. <laughs> Residents are offering a different perspective for freaks. I think they just said, we're going to do what we do, and it still works. Never once did I get the sense that they were trying to make a record to really appeal to the masses. What does it all mean? I have no idea. Wait.